Now, the first thing we need to do is talk about some of the settings. We've got two references that have been imported. Now that we've got our reference scaled, so now we've got everything in place. So say if I didn't have this one peg, I'd have to lock both of these manually. So continuing from where we left off, we are now going to move on to the pencil tool. We no longer really need to see this character reference, so I'm going to simply just hide it by selecting this and pressing the hotkey D again, if you remember that from last episode. Now we're focusing more on this bold prop here in, in the middle of the screen. So I'm going to go over to the left and select this pencil tool. To make sure we don't accidentally draw on the references, what we can do is just make sure they are locked from last episode as that will save us a bit of pencil. We want to make sure we're drawing on the drawing layer and not the references. So with this all selected, we can now hide this no view and focus more on the pencil properties. My layout of the pencil properties might be a bit different. Um, if you want to adjust them, you can go over to this brush menu here and you can select either the small thumbnails, large thumbnails or stroke view. Your view might be by default the stroke view. It allows you to see the actual pencil brushes themselves, but I prefer using the thumbnail view as it gives me more of this sort of grid organization, which, which I prefer personally. We want to use one of these pencil presets as a base for our new preset. So I'm going to go ahead and select the uniform thickness stencil over here. And to create a new pencil, we can click on this little plus button here where it says new brush. We can give this, we can give this new pencil a name. For now, I'm just going to name it Bluey Outline. Select OK. Now we have a new brush, we can change some of the brush settings. And this can be done by clicking on this arrow here. Once this opens, a new menu window will pop up. You can change the textures in this window here. I don't really need any of these textures, so I'm just going to leave it as none for now and move on to the size and smoothness. So if we want to try and replicate this line weight here, we're going to probably want a smaller brush. So under the maximum, I'm going to select maybe and let's say six for now. Minimum size, we can keep at 100. And the smoothing, I'll bump these up to 10 and we'll see how this goes. You can also choose how the lines will join to one another. For me, I just select round on the start, end and join. Once we're done, make sure you save these presets. This can be done by pressing on this little button here in the top right, update brush presets. With these preset saves, we can now use our newly created brush. Now, I personally don't use a graphic drawing tablet as stated from before. So, for doing any drawings, I use the shape tool. If you select this tool here to the left, you can choose either to create a shape of a rectangle, an ellipse, a line or polygon. I'm gonna use the line for now, just cause we wanna get, we just wanna focus on the line weight for now. With our new brush selected, we can now click on this and we can choose to draw a line. You can choose the colors here to the right under the color palettes. I'm just going to leave it black for now. Again, we're just trying to get the line weight. So I'm going to select the S curve down here. You can choose to draw either a straight line or an S curve here. Using the C curve, if I drag and hold, as soon as I let go of this line, wherever my cursor goes, it will bend the line in that direction. So we want to get this sort of curve down here. And then once I click again, you'll keep it in that location. Using the contour editing tool over here, we can now change these pivot points once selected. So I'm gonna make this line a bit more accurate to the bowl. If I just sort of move and adjust these pivots, we can get this sort of nice curvature here. We can see if the line weight matches our reference by going back into the node view. If I click this arrow here, the node view will come back up. For our references, I'm going to simply add a transparency node. So again, press enter, I'm going to type in transparency and select this one at the bottom. With this here, we don't want it attached to our drawing, but we want it attached to our references. We can choose how transparent we want this to be by clicking on this yellow box here, and we can choose the transparency. So I'm going to leave it at 25 for now and just move on. With this said, since our reference is now transparent, we can now put that in front of our drawing by moving this node point to the front. Now our drawing is in the back, but we still won't be able to select our references because we've locked them, so we can still easily select our line. Now, if we compare this to the line weight, we can kind of see it's still a bit too thick. So if we want to adjust this, what we can do is we can use our select tool over here and select the drawing. If we go down to the tool properties, we can now choose the maximum size. So here we've got a really good scale of how thick or how thin we want it. So originally it was at six, I'm gonna try four now. 
I think four is somewhat a good a good weight. However, these changes won't be saved to the pencil presets we made. So we need to go back into the pencil tool, scroll down here, and with the with the brush that we've created here, let's open this up a bit. You can see it's still on six, so we now want to change it to this preset, which is four. This can be done by going back into this option, move this down to four, and then we'll hit that update brush preset here. So now we've got this lovely line here, which we'll use for the outline of any props we do, and it's set at a scale of four pixels. That concludes it for episode two. This video's length was a bit shorter than expected. We covered how to create some custom brushes, but stay tuned for next episode as we can finally start to vectorize and color our chosen prop. I'll see you guys again in episode three.